On July 2, 1881, at the 6th Street station of the Baltimore and Potomac Railroad, a severely mentally ill man named Charles Gateau was waiting by the ladies' room trying to blend into the crowd. As he clutched the pistol in his pocket, he finally saw his target, U.S. President James A. Garfield. Garfield was lost in conversation with the Secretary of State James G. Blaine when two shots rang out. One bullet bounced off Garfield's arm while the other struck his back and became lodged deep in his abdomen. Garfield survived the shooting but was unable to stand. Garfield's doctors moved him to the White House where they shoved their unwashed hands into Garfield's wound in an attempt to find the bullet. After multiple extremely painful searches, the wound had been stretched into a 20 inch long tear that became extremely infected and even more painful. For 80 days, Garfield hung on to life while slowly wasting away from infection that had spread into his bloodstream. Finally, on September 19th at 10.15 p.m., Garfield suddenly awoke and frantically started wailing about this pain, this pain, and clutching his chest. After roughly 15 minutes of begging for someone to stop the pain, he finally passed away. He was only president for 100 days.